Uh, this is just to reflect how important prompts are, that even a single word can have a very big impact. Microsoft is integrating AI art into its AI Power Bing chat. Um, this is called Bing Image Creator. Okay, so Bing Image, Bing Image Creator is actually based on a DALI. DALI is the image creator from OpenAI. Okay, um, and even though it is based on it, it's slightly different. It's a different version, and it works. It has certain differences that are gonna be we're gonna be exploring in this video. Okay, so as you can see here, um, I was trying to create a picture, a very simple picture, generic picture of my cat Nene, and well, as you can see, he's apparently he's not able to to write. I asked something as simple as, I want my cat to have a tag with the name Nene on it and it wasn't it wasn't able to to do that even though I asked in two different ways uh, I wasn't able to to create that tag saying Nene so even something as simple as that um, the ad seems to struggle to create this um, letters right and this to do any writing um, and I was doing certain experiments with uh, different prompts I believe that going forward, uh, they're going to be these experts that are going to leverage on AI, creating very effective prompts uh, to generate things, to create things. And as I'm going to show you later in this video, a prompt can make a huge difference in what kind of results we get. Okay, so obviously this year, even though this this is that we can see here on the on the on the on the screen. It's actually pretty decent by any terms, but it's not exactly what I what I wanted. It's not exactly what I had in mind. Uh, granted that my initial prompt was very simple and that was part of the experiment that I wanted to do. Uh, and I'm going to show you later. Uh, we're going to talk about how to improve the prompts and how to make the prompts better to achieve the pictures that we want to we want to achieve. Now, as you can see here, this prompt blocked, by the way, uh, I, all I asked was Captain America sitting on the toilet and apparently the sitting on the toilet part uh, was interpreted as inappropriate so but anyways <clears throat> if we go let's go back to the cat topic okay so um, after doing a few iterations, and in, in the, all these different iterations, I'm getting different results. I finally reached something that was more or less close to what I wanted to, to achieve. Okay, um, and and in the one of the main elements here is to to add the key descriptors that the AI is, is required to make very efficient or um, well-targeted pictures okay based on what you want to achieve uh, so you might wonder what kind of things then um, can we can we add into our prompts to make our picture better well, so first of all we can talk about lightning okay uh, how the light uh, reflects on the object you're trying to recreate or, or the environment you're trying to recreate it can have an effect on how realistic that picture could be because light will also create shadows, and well, as you can, as I'm gonna show on a on a on a on the following picture, that shadow or that that light can uh, change the environment and how the environment feels. Okay, the second thing we can, we're going to uh, talk about is about texture. Okay, we can use and describe texture to create uh, the feeling of the image as well, whether um, the 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 surface of whatever we're describing has any scratches or is supposed to be metallic or what kind of surface, what kind of texture uh, the surface of the object uh, has or supposed to have. Um, also, we can ask the AI to enhance certain details, right? We can um, enhance 
the details around the eyes to create a more, more uh, powerful picture. I also want to show that later. Uh, we can ask to blur the, the background. A certain elements, when we blur the background, um, we can enhance also the, the main object on the, on the image. Uh, we can also ask to add noise to make the, the pic if we want to create a picture that looks vintage, right? We can add noise into the picture. Uh, the colors, <clears throat> we can talk about the depth, right? Whether we want to add that three dimensional effect into the picture, into the image, right? And and then we also have things like the, the shadows that I just mentioned, <clears throat> emphasize uh, whether we want the shadows to to be made realistic. Um, we can also talk about perspective, what kind of angle you want. And we also, uh, strategically, we can add elements that add reflection to our picture. So for example, we can add a window that will add reflection or a body of water that will add reflection. And when we add reflection, oftentimes make our pictures look more realistic as well. Okay, so here I wanna show you an example. And this is actually pretty, I wanted to create something eerie, something scary. And I want you to pay attention to the prompt because in this prompt, I actually use all the different elements that I just mentioned right now. Um, <clears throat> and I want to I want to show the big difference. The initial cat that I had at the, the beginning versus something like this that is, has some, so much detail, right? So you can really tell the, the difference. So first of all, I asked for a photorealistic image. Okay, that's the first adjective. And the second one is, well, it has to be scary looking. Then we describe the environment. The environment is a dark, futuristic laboratory. Then we talk about texture. And the texture has to be some sort of a metallic exterior, right? Um, and also we talk about the light and the shadows, right? So let me, I'm uh, going to read the whole thing. So create a photorealistic image of an image looking uh, a scary looking android standing in a dark futuristic laboratory. Enhance the details of the android's metallic exterior to make it appear sleek and menacing. Add texture to the android's body to create the illusion of wear and tear. Adjust the lightning to create shadows and highlight the the uh, that emphasize the android's ominous appearance add a bit of noise in the back in the image to create a sense of grit and realism finally add a red glow um, to the android <clears throat> now this one maybe this picture in particular doesn't really reflect the red glow that i was looking for um, but on the other examples we can we can see the the red glow uh, in uh, In function. Okay, now something interesting is when I use the same prompt, I just change the adjective scary looking to cute, it changed the picture altogether. Even though uh, the prompt was exactly the same, you're changing the scary looking for cute, can have a very big impact, impact in, um, in the results. So, uh, this is just to reflect how important prompts are that even a single word can have a very big impact in terms of um, what kind of images we are able to generate here. <laughs> okay, that means that the more descriptors we add, the, the better we can fine tune uh, these images. Now, as I mentioned before at the beginning of the video, I think in going forward, we're gonna have these professionals that are able to create very effi efficient uh, prompts that, to create very specific things. Uh, and we can leverage an AI to create these prompts as well, or to refine the prompts. So for instance, I can go to ChatGPT and come up with very general rough ideas and then ask ChatGPT to, to refine these ideas in a way that is more efficient to be used in another AI tool. And so in the future, most likely we're gonna be leveraging AI tools together with other AI, AI tools. And that's already occurring with um, many AI images technologies 
that leverage in, in other uh, AI imaging technologies. Um, so for example, some AI image creator technologies are better creating hands. Uh, other are better at other things. And so when we kind of like put them together to work together, uh, they can create these um, crazy realistic images. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I think that will be all for today, for this video. Uh, I'm going to, going forward, just continue to cover different technologies uh, and continue to learn different techniques. Uh, if you want to join me in that journey, uh, please subscribe and like this video and I'll see you until the next time.